Hello, my name is Henry Bush Larsen and I'm the CEO of UniBio. Oh, and this is Jesper, our CFO, working here with Gideon. When we hire new employees in, in UniBio, I like to tease and ask, so what do we do in UniBio? A typical response would be, we develop fermentation technology or we produce protein. Well, that is of course all true. But what we really aim at in UniBio is to enable a world without protein scarcity. Imagine that. Here are a few facts. World population is growing, meaning more mouths to feed. Agricultural land per capita is decreasing, meaning less land to produce that food. And our meaty diets results in large areas of agricultural land being utilized to produce feed for animals, especially protein. Hold on. So, here we are at the top of the Yulup fermenter. And this is Ip, our CTO, working with the tech team. Hi, I'm Ip. Nice to meet you. But, what are the implications for the planet when we can produce proteins in large scale using the UniBio technology? How does it all fit into the larger picture? Well, I could tell you, but I would prefer if I ask Laurie to do so. Laurie, will you? Of course, Henrik. Think of the whole chain. From uniprotein production, up to the ingestion of feed by the animals and manure excretion. There are three main points where key environmental benefits can be expected. The first one relates to animal feed. Animal feed is carefully optimized in order to meet animals' nutritional requirements while keeping the price as low as possible. We have made a first simulation together with a Danish feed company where we found a reduction of 6.5% soybean meal when unit protein was integrated in piglet feed. This alone allows a reduction of 250 kg CO2 equivalent per ton of feed, equivalent to driving a car from the south of Denmark all the way down to Venice in Italy for one ton of feed. I let you imagine the potential, it's huge. Now, less soybean in the diet involves less phosphorus in the excreted manure, while a better protein quality translates into less nitrogen excretion. This means the potential for reducing eutrophication when manure is applied on agricultural soils, which is great news for the Baltic seas, by the way. Finally, this technology allows interaction with the energy system through the methane feedstock that is needed. And this is where it gets really exciting for me because it allows to integrate the agriculture and the energy system together. And this, I believe, is key to our challenge of supplying food and energy to a rapidly growing population without destroying the planet. Thank you, Laurie. So, what happens in the future when we bring the ULOOP technology to market where and where biogas is part of the gas infrastructure? Well, we get to the point where we have true production circles and UniBio would like to take part in leading the way towards a more sustainable future by creating those production circles. Allow me to wrap this up by introducing you to some of our partners. Thank you for listening. I hope you will follow our journey.